I get a lot of questions with people wanting to know what they should price their products at. And this comes down to a few things, not only the price point, but also the marketing strategy. All this in this episode, you're watching Timberman TV. So for the questions that I've been getting, a lot of you have been brand new to woodworking and you're just starting to sell online and you have this big question of what should I be charging? How much money should I be making in order to not undercut myself but also not lose out on the sale? So I'm going to try to break this down into a few different categories depending on where you're at with your business growth and your skill level. If you're just starting out or you've been watching my videos and you're starting to build tables, coffee tables, other decor, something I would really recommend is look at your competitors pricing, look at their quality, see what they're charging. This is called market research, right? You got to know what people are putting the same product out there for. This is a good place to start. If your product is the same in comparison to other products, you should be at least at the same price point. Now to go up from there is going to depend on the type of materials that you're using. Maybe if your quality is better or if you created a larger brand around your product. So let's take a walk down memory lane of Timberman's life. When I very first started out in 2016, I was gathering pallets out of dumpsters for free and I was converting these into coffee tables and small entry tables that people were buying on Facebook. I was not charging a lot of money. I think at the time, the first one I sold was like 150 bucks, but I had picked it, the pallet up for free. I think I spent a couple bucks on some stain and I had a sander and a saw and a drill, like very minimal tools. So my profit on that was probably $100, $120 off of a free pallet. So when you look at numbers, when I was broke, to me, that was good money, right? I could pick up free pallets, I can make a quick hundred bucks on these. Maybe it took me all of a half an hour to an hour to convert these into something that could sell. So again, you have to look at where are you currently at financially and what's gonna make sense for you with what you have. So step one, I would believe, is just getting sales. At that point, I didn't really care how much money I was making. I was excited that I was able to take these free pallets, make some cool furniture out of them, at least I thought. Was it good? No, but it sold and people liked the rustic element about it. So step one is get sales under your belt, get product moving. Why? Because getting product in a consumer's hands is going to allow people to refer business to you and or get you reviews. You can't get referred business and you cannot get reviews if you have no product going to consumers. All right, well, that's great, Nate, but how the heck do I do that? How do I market myself? How do I brand myself? Well, we have this thing called social media. We have something called YouTube that you're watching right now and they are free platforms to use. So what I did is when I started building anything, I'd always post it on Facebook and on Instagram. Nowadays, I'm posting things on TikTok and now on YouTube. But back then, I would just post them, everything I built on Facebook and on Instagram. Now, other people would now see this product and I can't tell you how many things I've sold just saw people seeing what I post and said, hey, how much is that? I like that. I think my wife and I would like that same table or we would like that same patio cover built in our backyard. So marketing on a free platform, it, it has to be a must. You have to show people what you're doing, right? This is zero dollars to you and it's a great way to start out to get your product in front of more faces. All right, so step one is just to start getting your product in consumers' hands at a price point that is right there with your competitor based on the product and the quality of the product. Step two is going to be your marketing. So getting these in front of people's faces, which is going to be posting on social media to start. You can always pay to boost ads. You could do TV commercials. You could do uh, magazines, you name it. I think social media and tech is where marketing is at right now. But uh, I've wrapped vehicles. I've wrapped multiple vehicles actually and drove around and gotten calls off of that too. So there's multiple ways that you can choose to spend money on marketing. But I guarantee you, use the free platforms that are in front of you, you're going to get business. Now this leads to the third step, which is going to be branding. 
Now branding I think is separate from marketing because marketing is just getting product out there. Branding is really stamping a name on your product and getting people to understand that name around the product. So there's a couple ways that you can do that. And right now you're staring at one of my brands, Timber USA. So you can get merchandise, you can start to have a logo that's implemented with all of your product and just keep using that name with your product so it starts getting implemented as a brand. Once a brand grows and people start to know your name and put quality with the name, you're gonna be able to then charge more. The, the name of anything, right? Designer clothes, high-end cars, these things are top dollar, not always necessarily because they're nicer, but just because the name behind it. So for those of you that are just starting out in woodworking, you just started your online store, you just started posting on social media, start just getting product out there. You'll make some money, it may not be exactly what you want, but just start moving product. This is gonna build up clientele, this is gonna build up referrals. I've had a lot of clients I've done builds for in the past buy from me again. Maybe they want a different project done. Maybe some in their family wants something done. So the best investment you can make right now is just getting product into consumers' hands. Once you start doing that and start building not only how much product you have out there, but also your quality of that product, believe me, I was terrible when I first started. I almost feel bad for the people who did business with me in the beginning, even though I wasn't charging a lot. Thank you so much for having faith in me, but I was not that good. I was still learning and growing. And that's what, that's what it's gonna take. You should be learning from every piece that you make, every project that you do, and growing in your skill set so that that is known. People are gonna recognize that and you will be able to add dollars on top of that, growing your profit margins with the same product because you're getting better and your brand is now starting to be, become known. People are starting to refer you. This is the snowball effect that starts right now with just getting product out there and posting it online. Do not be afraid to show off what the heck you're doing. People wanna see it. The last little tip I'll give in this video is actually on the price point that you choose if you start to get haggled by consumers or by clients. So you have to remember, and this is specifically speaking to woodworkers and people selling wood products online, is you have to remind them of the quality of the piece that you're building. Anyone can go to Target and Ikea and buy MDF particle board furniture for $100 when you're charging $500 for what looks to be the same, but you have to remind them that they are getting solid timber. They are getting a real product and your hands are making this product. You have to sell that to them. Otherwise, yeah, people might go buy cheaper product. And I've told people more times than not, go ahead and buy the cheaper product. I, I hope you enjoy it, but I, I guarantee you'll probably want something that's more solid, that's gonna last you a long time. And it does work. So don't be afraid to stand behind your price and let people know why you're creating it. It's your time going into the product. It's real material and not some factory made uh, fake material out of cardboard. If you liked this video, but you want a lot more detail on really how you can grow your business, I have spent hours putting together a training program called Building You. It's through Timberman.com. You can go on there and purchase this course for $97, and this will go through everything from finding your niche, how to market online, how to grow your business, how to make a business plan. There's a lot of items on there that are gonna be super beneficial for you, as well as, well as interactive worksheets to make sure you're on the right step to do the things that I'm talking about. This is proven to work. It has worked for me and others that I have trained. And if that's something you're interested in, I recommend you go into that website, timberman.com. The link will be below in the description to order your course. Leave comments below if you've taken the course and what it's done for your business. I'd really love to hear it. Before I wrap this up, the biggest thing is you gotta put yourself out there. Don't care what other people think about you or what they might say about what you're doing. It doesn't matter. Again, when I first started, I didn't have the best product. I didn't have the best marketing strategy, but I kept being consistent with putting product out there, posting about it. And now I'm trying to share with you on YouTube on how you can do the same things that I've done. I've had success and I love sharing that with you. That being said, I'd love to hear your story. Leave a comment below if you've been implementing these steps within your business and how it's grown. Make sure to subscribe to this channel 
click that notification bell. Make sure to click that like button. We'll see you next time.